Full stop. No, we can't. We can't. There's not enough room. Go, 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 go. No, we can't crash her again. Oh, oh, oh. Take off. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, and today in general, is a day that I thought I would never see. And this is in regard to the Vulcan Bomber Project that Weeby has been talking about to me for the last three years. There's a little update here, a little update there. And kind of after the first year and a half, I was kind of like, all right, whatever. Let me know when it's done. And um, we people's like, okay, <laughs> waited a year and a half, and boom, smack down on my virtual desk, the Avro Vulcan is ready to play out today. But what's really impressive to me isn't the overall quality of this model, but the length and determination by the community that have come together, shared historical documents, gathered people with, um, not technologies, uh, talents to complete this thing. This is all community funded. This is all community built. Um, this is by Snovel Toff. Is that it? Snovel? Snovel Toff? Snozzle T-O-F-F and his team. I'm sure a lot more people are on that list. So um, before this video goes out today, hopefully I'll have that list and kind of put it up here to give credit to everyone who deserves it. And the cool thing about the Vulcan and the team behind the Vulcan is that now they might be able to get paid for this model and have it be featured in the game. Because before, maybe a couple, two or three months ago, um, user-made models could only be premium. And there's no user-made models that are premium that are jets yet. And so now with the whole flat out fee of like 10,000 or something dollars, it opens the door a lot for crazy models like this that wouldn't fit the premium scale, but would fit more the normal tech tree. Um, and we're going to go into what this plane has to offer to War Thunder, what, it, what its capabilities are, its top speed, how many bombs it can hold once we hop in it. But guys, I want to say thank you to the team over at Snoveltoff, Weeby, and um, the model looks fucking amazing. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vulcan Bomber. Oh my gosh. Oh my, look at the intake. Oh. <sighs> Dead sexy. Dead sexy. Now, me and Weeby saw this plane IRL together. We went to a museum outside of London that houses uh, some pretty big planes, and this was one of them. I can't tell you how massive it is. I mean, it looks big in War Thunder, and considering a lot of planes that we think are small, like the Typhoon or the Catalina, those planes are absolutely massive in real life. Now, yeah, the Catalina is much bigger than the... I'm just talking about those two famous photos of how many men can fit on the wings. That's kind of where I get the gist of how big a plane is. But this thing is massive. And on the top left of your screen, you'll see 21 closed bomb bay. And those aren't 21 500 pounders. Those aren't 21 999 pounders. Those are 21 1,000 pound bombs that this thing can have. Now, we're going to have to go in the settings real quick. Hopefully... Um, all right, good. Everything's perfect. All settings are good to go. Now, usually in a user maiden model, not to discredit anyone from um, making a model and not putting in certain things, but this thing also has a cockpit. Literally, this model from Snozzletoff is handing War Thunder a new plane on a silver platter. Everything it needs to be in game is included with this model. Here we go. Fucking cool, man. Fucking jeez. I don't I don't understand all the hours. All the days, all the nights, all the exchange of communication 
to get something done like this. Now, they literally had to study these bolts or these, and they don't look like rivets. Maybe they are rivets or whatever, and count them and model them to put them in just... And I don't even want to look at this thing's... Oh, my God. Look at the riveting. B blows. Blows me the fuck away. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and start this bagger up from cold to hot to roll to flight. And then we might... um Taking on some bombing runs. And then I also want to do some landings with her just because of the beautifully, beautiful gear assembly. Um, guys, we have a ladder right there. So I wonder that to me is like, you know, the cockpit closing or opening, you know, when you come, when your aircraft comes to a stop or if your aircraft starts accelerating too fast. Okay, cold start. Flight controls, free and correct. That's a massive rudder. Okay, we're gonna go to 50%. I, I wanna watch the ladder right now. Come on, ladder. Oh man. That's gorgeous. Okay, at 100 kilometers, we'll go ahead and full power it. There we go. Oh, she bouncing on this runway. It can probably take off by now, right? It's a huge delta wing. Flaps. There we go, easy, easy. Gear up. Wow. <laughs> this is fucking neat. This is cool. So guys, in the comments below, let me know or share your opinion on whether you think the Vulcan should be added into the game because some other stats about, or, well, you know, we'll just touch on speed. This is not a supersonic bomber, but it could hit supersonic air speeds or Mach 1. I believe we have a Mach indicator on here um, in a shallow dive. So the next order of business is testing out this thing's bombs. So we're going to go ahead and turn to the southwest, head back to Britain and find a nice open area for us to test the bombs out. While we're heading there, let's see how the air brakes work. There they deploy. Oh my gosh. Yep, they are braking. Me with the air. That's what they're supposed to do, but that was very drastic. Look at that speed just decreased. Well, it was decreasing with the turn, but look how nice they look. Oh, wow. Look, we got negative ones too, or below the wing and above the wing. Okay, let's go ahead and pull those back in. I think my favorite part about this aircraft so far, or at least the thing that sticks out the most to me, are the intakes. I love those things. They're massive. They're like black holes of intake. Now, do we have a... 3d oh shit dudes look at those huge jet engines there all the fuel in the wing and then you have the superstructure of uh, what holds up the wing and the whole plane together that is gorgeous all right this is some nice open territory for us let's slow down we don't we don't need to be going 800 plus kilometers an hour right now well no, well we're in the vulcan yes we do full power bombay door open Oh, man. One away. Oh, we got, we got 21 left. Let's just spam it. Jeez, I've never seen so many bombs drop from a British aircraft with that much power before. The British version of Rolling Thunder. Oh, I wanted to close the bomb bay. Okay, we got a 20 second reload here. And then while we're doing this, or well, I can't, now it's paused. I want to get drop bomb series going on. Let's just sign out a random button. There we go. Two, one. Bomb bay door open. Spam it. Oh, it just shits them out. That's glorious. Let's follow them in. 
Oh, look how many they are. They got about a 2,700 meter drop here. So it should be a while until they splash down. But look at how they like naturally disperse. That looks awesome. And once they disappear, the two second timer has started, I believe. Oh, I lost him. Oh, wow. That is something else. Here, we're, we're going to go into this dark area over here with the clouds so we can really see how the bombs look with the uh, shock wave or the shock and awe of it. Now, if I drop the bombs here, we should hit the trees perfectly, right? I don't have I don't have a bombing reticle or, or a view for it. Okay, bomb bay door open. I want to do single taps. Okay, they're on their way. Got him in sight. That is so cool. Now, guys, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think of bombers such as like the B-36 or the B-52 being added to the game. Because if they, if Warthner takes kindly to the Vulcan, which I think they should, I think it has a place in the game. I mean, we have bombers in the game without defensive armaments. Um, how the Vulcan defends itself is from flying at high altitude and at fast speeds. Now we're heading back to the base. We're gonna do maybe one touch and go and then one full stop here. And I think that will be the last flight of the Vulcan. No, <laughs> let's not get, let's not get teared eye. Now, at Riyadh last year, 2016, I was with Devo, Cola, and Jack Scott. We all went there and hung out uh, to watch the air show. And I believe it was two years or one year before I came where the Vulcan made a uh, stop there and showed off for a little bit. Now, unfortunately, I can't say my say so myself. I've seen this thing in flight, but I was close to. That has to amount for something, right? No, it doesn't. But I got a feeling they're going to take the Vulcans, or at least one of the Vulcans, out from taxi, taxable and fast, you know, runway run-ups to in flight again. They have to. Air brakes on. Goodbye, speed. It was nice knowing you. 700 kilometers an hour. Ooh, we gotta slow down a whole flip lot. Now, one of the most iconic things, iconic things of watching a Vulcan land is how it air breaks. We're going to do a uh, circle here. I don't think we'll be able to get down in time. Let's just, no. It won't look pretty if I try that. Okay, we'll, we'll go some power and some air breaks. But how they break is that they'll touch down and then they'll just sit with their wings elevated at about maybe 20, 25 to... Okay, we need more power. More power. And they just sit like that all down the runway until their nose gently comes down and it looks beautiful. Now, one cool thing that I don't know, well, it hasn't, well, we do have parachutes in the game, but I think it would be cool if some big bombers and jets and other things that could have them, you could drop parachutes as you touch down to help you break. That would be a cool addition as well, in my opinion. Air brakes on. All right, looking stable. We're gonna keep right about 350, 320-ish. There we go. Air brakes in. Let's not stall her out. Gear coming down. Oh, she's a big one. She is a big one. Okay, this should be good. I'm feeling a little stall coming on. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a big stall. Oh wow! We gotta bring this girl in so fast. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. We're going to retry. We're going to keep her... Oh, man, we're stalling right now. We're going to keep her at 350 on final, and then we'll cut the power and let her, and let her touch down herself. It's just... It kind of deceives you. You have these huge wings, but also this plane is massive in itself, so she needs that airspeed to, um, well, generate the lift. Sorry about that, guys. That wasn't that pretty. <laughs> first time flyer. First time flyer. Give me a break. Toss me a bone. Okay. We are back on base to final. Adeline the power. Pretty modified. Oh, God. This would not be in regs. This would not be in regs at all. Okay. 350. A little bit of power up. Gear down. Cockpit view. 
looking beautiful. I get nice lift at around 300 kilometers an hour. I'll keep it there. Maybe 320 wouldn't hurt. We got a nice long runway. Oh, it's doing it by itself. Oh, that's actually awesome. So as we increase the angle of attack with the Vulcan, we're breaking right now. Um, actually, we're going to do a touch and go here. As we increase that angle of attack, the wings are so massive and War Thunder's engine recognizes that. And so we start air braking heavily even before we touch down. 300 kilometers an hour, and she takes off herself. We're gonna go around again, set up for it. Hopefully this time we can finesse it. Third time's the charm. Uh, we're gonna come in around 400 kilometers an hour and let the wings do the braking for us. All right, wings, whenever you're ready. Little high on the approach here, gears down. And we're gonna start our flare. Look at the speed, just bleed off this thing. Increase some power. Oh, almost had it, almost had it. Oh, a little rough, a little rough on it. Full stop. No, we can't, we can't, there's not enough room. Go, 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 go. No, we can't crash her again. Fire power. Oh, take off. Take off Vulcan. Oh, yes. Okay, so that time around, we almost had it perfect, but we had a little bit too much power set in. And at the point when I tried to reduce the power, my RPMs were too high and the spool took too long for the RPMs to come down. This will be our final try for a full stop. Oh yes, and it also doesn't help that we have 21,000 pounds of bombs on board. But if I drop them, even right now, I'll probably blow up once they hit. And uh, if I reload on final, I'm screwed. Gear down, let's try this again. We're gonna pop some air brakes just for a little bit here. Just to get us down to that nice final approach altitude. Okay, here we go, air brakes in. Okay, power, power, power. Ooh, I'll take that right there. A little rough, but a nice try landing on the brakes. Air brakes deployed. And I think this flight model restricts me from um, pulling the nose up below 300 kilometers an hour. Beautiful. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. All the information on how to support them and how you can get into testing this plane will be in the description below. Until next time, guys, have a great day. Peace out.